The tower stands 750 feet tall and was built in 1968 for the World's Fair celebrating San Antonio's 250th anniversary. It's been a favorite attraction for tourists and residents alike for nearly 40 years. You're on your way to the Chart House Restaurant. Enjoy a panoramic view of San Antonio while indulging in a variety of spectacular seafood, steak, and poultry dishes. For the last of the cocktail at Bar 601. Our sophisticated atmosphere and true Texas hospitality make it the perfect setting for a power lunch, leisurely dinner, or many wine. Private banquet rooms are also available. After you're done, be sure to visit the tower's observation deck and history rooms, where you'll get another gorgeous view and learn about the original six lines of Texas. We're glad you decided to visit the Tower of the Americas. Enjoy your time high in the sky.
front of the helm, under the two hatch doors. We have life jackets. We have safe crackers. We never had to use them. The river's three to five feet deep. All in, stand up, grab the kids, walk in. No smoking use of tobacco products. Check and make sure your cell phone is in either the silent or vibrate mode. The Shops at River Center. Open this River Center Mall 1988, 33 years ago. You can head in the door behind us, right by the great, great people were lined up for the lot. Hey, here we are. We're back. We're back at the dock. I enjoyed having you on the floor. I hope you enjoyed being had. Stay seated until I tie down the boat. Hey, have a good day, y'all. No. No, we're going to cover two and a quarter miles. Two and a quarter miles of the San Antonio River. Spring fed four miles north. And overhead, we have the Copper Street Bridge. Spring break six years ago. Steve Lowe did a back flip off the bridge. On the right side of our boat, the statue side of the river. Portugal. The river and city were named after it. June 13, 1691, the feast day of St. Anthony. Father Damian Massene held mass along the bank of the river. They named the river in honor of St. Anthony. The statue was a gift from Portugal. For the World's Fair, Hemisphere, 1968, 53 years ago, the statue was located over at Hemisphere Park at the Portuguese Pavilion. Now look up on the right side of our boat, St. Joseph's Catholic Church, founded by the German immigrants. Lutherans founded St. John's over on the West Street. And the Catholics, St. Joseph's, right up here on Commerce Street. On our right side, San Antonio Chamber of Commerce, you got right up the stairs, two blocks to the Alamo. If you look up on street level, that orange sculpture, porch of a gift for a Mexico summer 2002 sculptor Sebastian. Friendship between the United States, Mexico, and Canada, the porch of friendship. We're going to exit out of the Man Bay Hemisphere extension built for the World's Fair. They excavated from street level behind us. We're headed to the horseshoe. We're going to head out to the natural horseshoe bend of San Antonio River. It is spring bend, four miles north of here. Up on the campus of the University of the Incarnate Word at the Blue Pole. And south of there at Brannigan Bridge Park, near the San Antonio Zoo and Weedy Museum. The headwaters are three to four miles north here. San Antonio River, it flows southeast, winding over 200 miles, 145 miles as a throw lies. Meeting up with the Guadalupe River, 10 miles from the San Antonio Bay on the Gulf of Mexico. Hey, look up high on the left side of our boat. The Hilton Palacio del Rio, the palace on the river. H.B. Zachary built the hotel in 202 working. 
architect James Riley Gordon, architectural style Richardson Romanesque. On our right side, one of two marinas where we park our boats. And right here, Woodgate number four rises up out of the river like a drawbridge. One gate four, down to our left, gate five, look back behind us. Woodgate number five, it's a dam. San Antonio River, it drops off 15 feet at one gate five. They added another nine miles of Riverwalk Mission Reach. We're now in the man-made flood channel built in 1926 for flood control. The river's 10 to 15 feet deep here. Look high on our right side of the boat, there's the old Alamo National Bank building. Drury, we're going to make the old bank building into a hotel. They added hotel rooms on top of the parking garage. They excavated right through the wall of the man-made flood channel to the basement of the garage and constructed 650 feet of river walk in 2006. On the left side of our boat, Main Plaza, March 9th, 1731. 15 families arrived here from the Canary Islands. The Canary Islanders, they founded this song Fernando and people. They set the cornerstone in 1738. Look high straight ahead of us, the bent line from Cyprus, the twin trunk made of Cyprus, and the trees over 300 years old. Legend is that Ben Milam was shot by a Mexican sniper perched in the tree during the battle of Day Park. Gate 3, look up. We have a flash flood. They drop flood gate 3 like a guillotine. They test it daily every afternoon around 310. <laughs> <laughs> On the right side of our boat, the George Whitty building, 1894. They just completed restoration. On our right side, they begun construction on the floodgate luxury apartment over the next year. High on our right side, the brand new Hilton Kennedy Hotel opened last month. We head right upstairs to the Esquire Tavern. 1933, the Esquire Tavern, they had opened the day after the prohibition was revealed. The bars We pay our electric bill down On our left side of the boat, St. Mary's Catholic Church, 1856, St. Mary's. On the right side of the boat, Aztec Theater, 1926. The front of the theater, right upstairs on St. Mary's Street, it closed in 1984. And eventually it was restored and reopened. Hey, did you see the movie Selena starring Jennifer Lopez, J-Lo? The, the Hugman Foot Bridge was in the movie Selena. One of the scenes, Jennifer Lopez was sitting on the bridge. Did you see the boat captain who was in the movie? On our left, we have the Omni, La Nacion del Rio, the mansion on the river, the hotel.
Friday? Yeah. Friday at 11 o'clock out in the class. I'm going to go right for some demonstrations. We're going to use muskets. I can fire three of them. It's awesome. Yeah. That's, we're going to actually do them. They'll be empty. I mean, they'll be blanks. We're not going to kill anybody. Right. We ask for volunteers. Oh, man. Process of putting together the buttonholes and buttons for an early 19th century roll collar waistcoat. Uh, similar to what I'm wearing, this is essentially the first outer garment that a man would be wearing with a coat on top of that. So, any questions about uh, early 19th century tailoring? I'm going to start on the second story. As, uh, if you're using that for a can, like I could linen, see optic and uh, wool, road. or in this case, that silk, road, it's, that is going decent, to fray apart as you're stitching, points. unless you have it properly.